What is cooking? Part 2 Methods of cooking Good morning dear children. I am sure all of you are keeping fine. In the last class we discussed about different types of utensils that you find in your kitchen. We have learned their names. We have learned the materials they are made up of. We have also learned the names of some metals. Today, let us learn about cooking. What is cooking? Why do we need to cook? As well as the methods of cooking. On page 64 of your textbook, we will find this question. We do not cook all the things that we eat. Find out which things we eat raw and which ones we cook before eating. Which are the things we eat both cooked and raw. So we have to fill this table that's given here. So all of you have noticed that we can eat some of the food items raw without cooking. So which are the things that we can eat without cooking? Let's name a few. Carrot. You have eaten it in salads. You have eaten it raw and it's slightly sweet and tasty. Another thing that we can eat raw is tomato. Most of you have eaten cucumber especially in summer you just wash it and chop and use it as salad then all the fruits that you have around the place all the fruits that are available can be eaten raw without cooking onion it is used in your kitchen daily most of the time we cook but occasionally we eat it without cooking so these are some of the things that we eat raw. Let's name them once again. Carrot, tomato, cucumber, fruits, onion. In the second part of the table, we are asked to write the names of things that are eaten cooked. Let's see some of the items that we eat after cooking. Eggs. Fish, meat, cereals. Cereals are grains like rice, wheat, corn, jawar, bajra, etc. Pulses. You have learned about pulses too. All the grams belong to this group. So we eat all this because they are hard. We cannot eat them raw. Let's name them once again. Eggs, fish, meat, cereals and pulses are eaten after cooking. The third part of the table is all about things that can be eaten both raw and cooked. We eat these food items sometimes raw and sometimes after cooking. So let's name some of those items that can be eaten both raw and cooked. Carrot. Carrot can be eaten raw as well as cooked. Sometimes you make carrot cake. Another thing that you eat after cooking as well as raw is tomato. Cabbage. Cabbage can be eaten raw as well as cooked. Spinach. Spinach can be used in salads as well as you can cook it to make curry. Onion. Onion is eaten raw as well as cooked. So let's name them once again. Carrot, tomato, cabbage, spinach, onion are some of the things we cook and eat 
as well as we eat them raw. Now, why do we cook food? Why do we cook food? Cooking makes food soft. The first reason why we cook food is that cooking makes food soft. I told you about the brains and pulses. They are very hard when it is raw. You take them, put them in the mouth and try to chew. They are very hard and they do not taste good. Secondly, cooking makes food easy to digest. So whatever food that we are eating is to be digested by the stomach. A stomach is able to digest food if it is soft. Only then we get the nutrients from the food. So cooking makes food easy to digest. Cooking kills bacteria. Not all food items are clean. Some of the food contains bacteria. Sometimes gems also. Harmful gems are seen in some of the food items. So while cooking food, the heat in the fire kills bacteria and gems. Food becomes tastier after cooking. This is also a very important reason why we cook food. The food tastes different. The food tastes good. Because we also add some spices to it. We cook it, it becomes soft and tasty. So these are the reasons why we cook food. So there are many methods of cooking. There are different ways of cooking. Let's learn about some of these. One of the ways or method of cooking is boiling. By boiling, we cook certain food items. All of you have eaten hard boiled eggs. How do you do it? Take a pan of water, keep it on the fire and you also put the eggs in the water. And the water starts boiling and boiling and the egg gets cooked in this boiling water. You also prepare rice in similar way. In the picture you can also see the corn cobs getting cooked by boiling. And you also see tapioca. Tapioca is also cooked by boiling. Few items that are boiled and cooked are eggs, corn cobs, rice and tapioca. Another method by which we cook is known as steaming. Steaming. S-T-E-A-M-I-N-G. Steaming. This is a method of cooking food in the steam. For this, water is boiled and boiled. And water turns into vapor, which is also known as steam. Food is kept in the steam till it is cooked. Example, we prepare idlis, put dhokla, rice noodles, etc. by steaming. So some of the items that are prepared by steaming are put idli, dhokla and rice noodles. Here is a third method of cooking which is known as roasting, R-O-A-S-T-I-N-G, roasting, roasting. Roasting is a dry cooking technique. If you have noticed in steaming and boiling, we use water. It is a wet preparation. But in roasting, we use dry cooking technique. There is no liquids used here. Only hot air from the flame covers the food and cooks the food. So you can see the chapati getting roasted. You have seen the ghee roast roasted. Parathas get roasted. Papids are roasted. These are the ways many food items are cooked.
Another way of cooking is known as frying. F R Y I N G frying. Frying is a method by which food is cooked in hot oil or fat. See here the medium is not water, not dry heat, but oil, oil or fat. So the food is cooked in oil or fat. There are different types of frying. Pan frying, shallow frying, deep frying, stir frying, etc. So the food items that are fried are here you can see samosas getting fried, fish getting fried and chips getting fried. Baking is yet another method of cooking. Baking is also a dry cooking technique. It is very much like roasting but here baking is referred to cakes, bread, such kind of food items. Here again the dry heat cooks the food in an oven or over ashes or over hot stones etc. It is also cooked with the help of hot air covering the food in an enclosed situation and the food gets cooked and the water content from the food gets dried. Baking. B-A-K-I-N-G. Baking. So on page 65, you can see another exercise. Given below are different methods of cooking. Write the names of two things cooked by each of these methods. Add some more methods of cooking to the list and give examples too. The methods of cooking given here are roasting, boiling, frying, baking and steaming. Let's see two things that are roasted. Chapati and dosa. Boiling. We cook eggs and rice by boiling. Frying. Samosa and fish are fried. Baking. Cake and bread are baked. Steaming. Idli and puttu are steamed. Here is an exercise that needs to be done. Go to the kitchen and observe something being cooked. So when your mother cooks something, go stand near and observe the things that are cooked. What all was done to cook it? So when a particular dish is prepared, check what are the steps involved in making this particular dish. Write the sequence. Which means you have to write first things first. First you do this. Next you have to do this. And after that what to be done and so on. Don't forget to write the name of the item being cooked. As an example, let's write about chapati being prepared. So let's see the steps involved in it. First thing, take wheat flour. So you have seen mothers taking the wheat flour. Next, you need to add water and salt and then knead the flour. You have to mix it and nicely knead it till the dough is soft. After making the dough, you need to make the dough balls. You have to make small, small balls out of it. Small portion of the dough is taken and a ball is prepared. Now each ball is to be made into a chapati. The next step is flatten the dough balls. So take a dough ball, dip in some flour and then sprinkle some flour on the board. Then you have to flatten it. What is the next step? Cook the flattened dough on hot tawa. So the flattened chapati is now ready to be put on the tawa. The tawa is to be made hot and then place it on the hot tawa and cook it on both the sides. Then what happens? What is the next thing? The chapati is ready to be served. So these are the steps involved in preparing chapati. So you can write about any food item. And then you can write the different steps involved in making the food item. 
So let's now try to answer these questions. Why do we cook food? We cook food because cooking makes food soft. Cooking makes food easy to digest. Cooking kills bacteria. Food becomes tastier after cooking. Name things that are eaten raw. Carrot, tomato, cucumber, onion and fruits are eaten raw. Name things that are eaten cooked. Egg, meat, fish, grains, pulses, etc. are eaten after cooking. Name things that are eaten both raw and cooked. Carrot, tomato, cabbage, spinach and onion are eaten both raw and cooked. Name some methods of cooking. Roasting, boiling, steaming, frying and baking are some methods of cooking. Dear children, watch this video, read your lesson many times, learn the new words that are given here, learn the answers of questions. Thank you.